All right, so this is going to be a quick uh, introduction to CNavi and how to use it to find void warps. So first we need to open ROM. Um, it's best to use the included ROM. <laughs> I named it this. Maybe you have it named something else. Um, but if you use the included ROM, it will actually have the names of all the scenes and that's pretty useful. If you just use your own ROM, it will not have the names because this is some MQ debug ROM, but it, the scenes are the same, so it's fine. Right, so you can move around with the mouse. You can move the camera with the buttons on the keyboard, W, A, S, and D. You can move faster by also pressing spacebar. You can check here for, oh, let's go to another room. Decatry is special because they named every room, but they grew tired of it, so the other ones just have the room in numbers like that. So if we click room one, it will show us which one is room one. It will only display textures on that one room. So that's another way to find what the room number is of particular rooms. Just be careful that these room numbers start at one. But normally for other um, other programs and uses, we normally start at zero. So it's going to be offset by one. Just just be mindful of that. Right, so um, one more thing that can happen is if we click something, maybe let's try a few different scenes here. Uh, yeah, if we, let's say we are here, we click Lake Hylia and it doesn't work. We don't see anything. That's most likely because either the camera is facing the wrong way or the camera is too far away. If it's too far away, you won't see anything at all. And then you don't even know which direction to go. Uh, and that can happen if you just click change a scene and another scene, there's nothing to see. What you can do is you can click down here and it will center the camera to the origin. Uh, that's a good way. If, if it doesn't seem to work, you can use that. Um, next, what if we wanted to try and find a void warp? Let's say Kakariko. Um, let's say we wanted to void warp into Shadow Temple. Um, then we want to find the coordinates in some other scene that are uh, on this side because uh, let, let's say we want to void warp in and we do not want to um, do the hookshot jump or the super slide teleport and we don't have nocturne so we want to land on this side of the fence so some coordinates that are higher than here um, and on this side. So what we can do is we place the camera here and then when we go into another scene, let's say Kakariko village, the camera is in the same location. So these coordinates correspond. So for example, this uh, here, this spawn point here, um, if we go into movable objects mode here, which we are already, um, but if it doesn't work to click, you can go into movable objects mode because then you can tap this and it will tell you the coordinates of that spawn point. You can also find the spawn point by going into spawn points and clicking them, but that's, that's a little harder. So I just like to click it and we will see 1895, 189-1391. So if we go to this, we place the camera right here inside this. The camera will be at the same coordinate in graveyard when we go to graveyard. Oh damn, it looks like that will spawn us out of bounds right here. So that's not good. Um, then we keep looking. We go to the next scene. Jabu doesn't have anything in the rough area we want. Um, let's see, actually I know where there is a good one. So let's just show that one. Gerudo Fortress. Yes. So
so you can see that this one is higher up than we wanted than we needed which is good and seems to be at the roughly correct location so let's go there and go back to Kakari graveyard and we see that oh we would spawn way up here we can probably zombie walk into the loading zone if you want even more detail on where it would be you can go back to Gerudo Fortress and click this write down these numbers 3662 1413 and minus 507 uh, so then we steal one of these we steal it and we paste in those numbers 1413 minus 507 boom right up here See, that's why I did that with the camera, so we got the rough idea, but now we can even look around and see. That's where we would spawn. We can probably zombie walk or zombie side hop into the loading zone. And then you obviously also need to take into consideration the room number, but both of these scenes have two rooms, so there's no risk for a crash. When you open here you can see several stages that does not matter it's just the different setups of the scene but they usually have the exact same uh, stuff maybe the spawn points will be slightly different for a child and adult but basically here you can see there's room one here and room two over there uh, and Gerudo Fortress also has a room one and a room two so and this is room two where you, yeah this is room two we're using so it will not crash so yeah that's how you can use uh, scene navi to find uh, void warps if you also want to find a void warp diving spot it's pretty useful as well um, so just the other day Pliny went in here and he found that oh behind this wall there's actually a collision and that collision has a wall facing down so he found that oh look at this you can probably uh, dive off of this edge so it's pretty useful for finding collision like that uh, I did the same thing the other day uh, moving around Lon Lon Ranch I noticed oh look at this we have a wall facing into the void um, with uh, a floor above it so that that will work as well so yeah that's how you can use CNAVI to uh, find find void warps but then you obviously need to test them uh, but this is a good way to to get a rough idea of where you might be able to void warp from and where you might be able to void warp to